let's do some Beatles, or John Lennon at least, and uh, then we'll talk about it. Seven, split chords, split strings, second and fourth strings, second fret. B7, same as E minor, angled chords starting on the second fret, but starting on the second string instead of the first string, like E minor. And for most of the song, when you do B7, then you're going straight to E minor. So you got to hit the B7 first and then move to the E minor instead of vice versa. So that's trickier. You're going to have to watch your fingers into that second string, second fret. Pretty chord. And C. Very simple down, up, down, up strum with an emphasis on the second down. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Illustrated with the G. And um, second strum is down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So you go two bars of down, up, down, up, and then you do down, up, down, up, up, down, up. For example, in the intro, G, D, E minor. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, up down, up. G D E minor down up down up down up down up down up down up up down up A minor G D seven 
down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. If you don't like that down, up, down, up, up, down, up, you can do substitute two down, up, down, ups in there. So it would go down, up, 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 down, up. Like that, but that, that. Um, down, up, down, up, up, down, up gives it a little bit of a swing, a little pep on that third chord in each line. And so um, I think it sounds better. But anyway, uh, nothing you can do that can't be done. First verse, love, love, love follows the same as the intro. Uh, then first verse, nothing you can do that can't be love follows the same as the intro. And then the second line introduces this really quick um, lyrical pattern. Uh, Nothing you can say, but you can learn how to play the game. It's easy, learn how to play the game. D2, D7, learn how to play the game. The nice thing about the island D7 when you're going D to D7 is you're just lifting your middle finger on your D. However you play your D, you're just lifting up your middle finger, so. Uh, finishing with the down, down, up, it's easy. Finishing with the long strum. Uh, second verse, same as the first verse. All you need is love is G A D uh, instead of G D E minor G A D G A D and finally so this is the middle of the page where it says all you need is love starts with a G finally your B7 is introduced so you've got G A D all you need is love all you need is love now the B, G, and then B7, E minor. All you need is love, love. Love is all you need. So there's G, B7, E minor, G, C, D. Six chords in a row. We have to hit, 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 hit. So that would be the phrase to practice right there, that, that G, B7, E minor, G, C, D set, or maybe just the G, B, 7, E minor set. Just play that over and over again. And once you have that, then add the G, C, and D. The rest of the song repeats some of those same patterns that we just went through. The very last, she loves you, yeah, 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 yeah. I never do that very well. Um, but it's, uh, love is all you need. Love is all you need. Love is all you need. She loves you. You know, that was probably Paul McCartney. He was the nutty one. He would add stuff like that. But anyway, take it from John. That's the way that song goes. And then we just do a diminuendo on the outro, just a really soft. Slowly fade. That's it. Beatles. Yeah. Aloha. <laughs>